Billy was 18 and I was 14. My folks were breaking up and he and I were being angry kids, busting windows, shoplifting. Then Charlie decided to prove himself to this big gang and he dragged me along on a heist. I didn't even know what we were doing till he was climbing in the window. But you went in too? Never said I was bright. Next thing I knew, the cops were shouting freeze and I was doing 90 days in juvie. That was a slap on the wrist next to Charlie. He was in prison for three years. Hey, that's police property. You tell them. You saw the way she looked at me. We're freaks. Michael, please. I can't even hold you in my arms anymore. Batman rips. You think? Big time. How about an ice cream? My treat. Sure. <gasps> It'll be like this forever. No, it's worse than that. We've been reviewing the data on the particle fusion experiment. According to your notes, you knew about the danger. No, I had no idea this would happen. Just a freak accident. Yes, one in a million. Oh! Uh, wait, what, what are you doing? Finishing what we started. But you can't. Why not? You'll kill us all. Once it reaches critical mass, the radiation can't be contained. Then you knew all along. Yes. That's why you weren't there that night. Yes, and you weren't supposed to be either. What? Michael had it all. The brains, the success, your affection. I figured with him out of the way, I'd have a chance. You figured wrong. Please, turn it off. No. But the whole city will become a hot zone. You're crazy. I believe your words were dangerously psychotic. We are what you made us. Party's over. I'm an accident. Real heroes, they make a choice. I never did. This fight? No. You don't understand. I was their friend. Right. so busy I kept dumping him on Lois. He must have thought if he solved my patient's problems I'd have more time for him. I'm so sorry. Go to your son. Over here Mr. Boxer. Got a litter a couple of weeks ago. Save the best one for you. Look at these mitts. Gonna be huge. A mangler. After I get through training him, he will. Take care of the paperwork. Don't I always? match boss win or lose the crowd is gonna eat it up but the pup could get hurt hey turns out a loser he goes back to the pound and eh, plenty more where he came from due to technical difficulties tonight's match has been postponed Oh! <laughs> 
sure it's not. Robin was out alone that night when he came upon a woman in trouble. Hero time! That evens things up a little. Not really, bird boy! <laughs> a bird in the hand. We soon realized Tim was missing. Night after night, we scoured the city, running down every lead, pressing every underworld connection. But no one had seen any sign of Robin. For three agonizing weeks, there was nothing. Then one night, we were sent an invitation. We've been doing this little runaround of ours for years. It's been loads of laughs. But the sad fact is, none of us are getting any young. It's a chicken. Quite right, Pooh. And Harley and I were thinking it was time to start a family. Add a Joker Jr. to our merry brood. But rather than go through all the joy of childbirth, we decided to adopt. We couldn't do it legally, but then we remembered you always had a few spare kids hanging around. So we borrowed one. No. My God. He needed a little molding, of course. What kid doesn't? But in time, we came to love him as our own. Say hello, JJ. Yeah, 
You're mother of the stinking year. Ha, huh, you'll see. We'll be one big happy family. No witty comeback, no threat. Then I'll provide the narration. I'll begin with how I peeled back the layers of the boy's mind. Though he bravely tried to fight it at first. You would have been proud to see him so strong. But all too soon, the serums and the shocks took their toll. And the dear lad began to share such secrets with me. Secrets that are mine alone to know, Bruce. It's true, Batsy. I know everything. And kind of like the kid who peeks at his Christmas presents, I must admit, it's sadly anticlimactic. Behind all the sturm and batter rags, you're just a little boy in a play suit crying for mommy and daddy. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. <laughs> The only other person who knew what happened that night was my father, the first Commissioner Gordon. He promised to keep our secret. With his last act of cruelty, the Joker had tainted us all with compromise and deception. I suppose he had the last laugh after all. I'm assuming his girlfriend bought it too. We never found her body, but I doubt she'd be starting trouble now. And Tim? We had a trusted friend, Dr. Leslie Tompkins. It took her a year, but she was able to help Tim back to sanity. Still, things were never really the same. Bruce forbade Tim to be Robin again. He blamed himself for what happened and swore he'd never endanger another young partner. Tim left us soon after that, determined to make it on his own. Did they ever patch things up? Tim tried once or twice, but you know Bruce. I, ch I check up on Tim now and then. He's a top-level communications engineer, married, couple kids. Not too bad, all things concerned. You rotten little scamps! I struggle to make a good home for you, and this is the thanks I get! Ah! Break a grandmother's heart! I hope they throw the book at you! Oh, shut up, Nana Harley. Hello, Tim. Hi, old. 